Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I got requested to go take on the Furious Rajang with the Longsword. And of course, here is the quest. Alrighty, let's go. I have this inkling of a, of a feeling that I'm not going to enjoy this matchup remotely as much as I do the one in Sunbreak. Specifically with this weapon, because I think... I think he has maybe one or two attacks that you can actually land Hellbreaker off. And the rest you kind of just randomly attack him every now and then to obviously keep Gage up and uh, land some Foresights, which I imagine like punches you can land Foresight. Quite a lot of it you can land Foresight actually. But uh, yeah, landing those Helmbreakers is not going to be fun. I don't imagine it's all that consistent either because it's quite a quick boy, especially if he chooses to punch or something out of it towards him. Okay, that does work. Cool. But yeah, I haven't done this with uh, Longsword in this game. I know it very, very well in... Uh, what's it called? Rise. But not so much here. Okay. That's fine. We've got enough... Uh, what's it called? Um, we've got enough gauge to counter something if I need to. Which is good. For sure. Nope. Maybe we go for a cheeky mount or something. That's one of the attacks I think we can land this. Okay, yeah. We can land that pretty well. If I'm actually quick enough. I shouldn't have done that because we're not going to reach. Yeah, I knew it. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. Does this hurt multiple times? It does. Okay. Because uh, in Rise, that one only hits once. So you don't have to deal with it again. Okay. Does that work? It did. I'll take it. Free damage. And Rock Steady War off the instant I got swung at. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay. Chuck that on. We've got our meter again. I just need to keep the weapon out so we can actually counter something. And then little bits of damage where I can. Okay. Get that level. I'll take it. Just keep the gauge nice and high. As it's at empty. Oh, okay. I don't know why it missed. But that's fine. We get an opening here to get some meter. Also feel like Fate Slash is probably going to be a mistake. Because I didn't put... What's it called? Mind's Eye into this set. So we're going to be missing that a little bit. Yep, run up just in case. I need some more meter. Oh, okay. No, he beamed from so far. Just one swing then. Nope. Okay. That's a good one. Maybe we can foresight this. Or uh, Helmbreaker this. Yep, okay. So that's one I can't land it on. That's good. I'm glad I wasted my meter on that. Good to know. And he's going to hit me. Oh, okay. He chose a good option. I got lucky. That bounce is going to get me carded. I can already tell. Okay. Try not to use too much of the special slash. Because I do want to have the meter for foresight. Oh my god, really? That's so annoying. Whatever. Okay, that way. Nice. Evasion's gone already. Foresight this for Mino. So definitely want to have it. Because we're getting very, very few openings to land Helmbreakers, as you're seeing. Which is exactly what I expected. I missed. Okay, that's fine. Keep the weapon out, just in case he goes to beam. No, the cat! I think that was the other attack that I can actually land it off. Is the, uh, like, beams in the floor, this one. I was at a horrible angle. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, he instant punched. That's fine. Or well, mediocre punch, I guess. Could I get it off that? No, no way, okay. Again, not the right spot to land that. That's fine, though. Just get the foresight hit. Or have it miss. Oh my god, I expected him to punch. That's fine though. Beam for me? Nope. I have no meter, otherwise I'd get red off that. Oh, we got a tiny bit just in time. Beautiful. Let it sheath, of course. It's, there's no reason for me to uh, like continue that combo. I can get him up next to the wall. That'd be an easy wall bang. That would be a very, very easy wall bang. Cat came over to me. 
He ran. Lovely. He attacks out of that. Give me a good attack, please. So I can actually wall bing. That'll work if he chooses beam. Thank you. Straight into the wall. I'm going to go for Helmbreaker here. I should weaken, but uh, I'm going to go for Helmbreaker because I want to get damage out. We haven't done much damage at all. So we're definitely doing that instead. Nice and easy. Into that and fade. Maybe get a level up. I'll take it. Trade the hit, but I got the level at least because uh, that's going to be a lot harder to land. Get the weapon out in case he beams, but he didn't. Okay, nope. Beam for me. That's punches. Not a beam, sir. That's a decent opening. Maybe I should weaken the leg. Because I feel like it turns into a good enough hit zone to uh, actually swing it instead of the face with a long sword. Obviously, great sword. You don't have to worry about it because all your hits are like directly vertical. But uh, it's going to be a lot of times I can't land damage. Okay. Pitiful 85. Can you give me a good attack, please? That would be fantastic. Okay. At least I got the meter back, because I was about to lose it. Get the weapon out. Okay. Got agitator back as well, which is raw and affinity buff, of course. Chase after him in case he does a good attack at the cat. Which, of course, he's not. Yeah, I'm pretty certain there's only two attacks I can actually land anything off. Like anything uh, considerable. That being one of them. Thank you, sir. I'll take that to the bank. Yeah, I have to trade the land damage. That's good. At least I got Moxie, so I'm in zero danger here. Left arm, so we roll right. Okay, just don't get up. Thank you. Don't roll. Thank you. Fantastic. I love inputting things and it not happening. It's my favorite part of this game. Or any game, actually. Any game where it doesn't do what you input is uh, quite infuriating with that. But that's okay. I'm glad that didn't deal damage. The face. So we get some meter. That get up punch. Okay. This is... This is fine. Yep, I'm glad I rolled and it didn't do anything. Thank you, game, for not reading my input again. Okay. Maybe I could land... Maybe. I was going to say, that attack, if I, like, get it as he does the second swing. Possibly. Just waiting for anything here. That's all I can do. All I can do. Yep, keep running across the map. Thank you. Oh, here he goes again. You gonna do it a third time? Run punch? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of meter before he lets me do anything with it. Okay, at least I got there. I did it too early, by the way. That's why I took damage. Oh, you're gonna beam now, aren't you? I think I was too slow. Spamming triangle to get down. Okay. <laughs> I trade a helm breaker for a grab every time. That's not cool. At least I'm still above Moxie. So I live at least. Also got a divine protection proc. So we're fine. But, uh, that's not fun. I don't like having to trade my helm breaker for damage. Or my helm breaker for uh, losing my all of my health. Okay. That's fine. Use some of the meter, because why not? Not going to use it for anything else, that's for sure. Not at this rate, at least. One, two, counter. I'll take it. I got the hit, at least. I'll take it. For sure. Running at the cat. Right, I could go for a warbang here as well. Alright. I'll take it. Easy stuff. I'll take that level. Can still go for the wall bang as well. At least that's the plan. Beam. No, but I think it works. Yeah, that was insanity. I 
don't know why I thought that would work. It was way too far away from the wall. Isn't this a rock? Or did I pick up that rock? I must have picked up that rock. Oh god, I can eat again? It's been that long? Alright. What are you doing? More of this. Some swings. Thank you, sir. Finally. Spam it to get down. Okay, you didn't grab me that time. We love to see that. Nope. Feel like I should have just rolled that. Because now he's going to give me something I could have. Yeah. That's alright. That'll work. Special sheath keeping my meter nice and high. It's good to see. Get the weapon out in case I can helm break or something. Thank you. Take it. Spam to get down. Thank you. Knock down finally. I should probably weaken something off this to be honest. Because I can't land a whole lot just to level up really. Ah, itchy. That's fine. There. Okay. Nice and easy. I should also probably not do the follow-up just so I can keep the meter. Because, uh, it's pretty important. I wish I was closer. Because, uh, that's definitely one I think I can land it off. A Helmbreaker. Maybe? Not consistently. Unless I was too far. Oh, I thought I was going to bounce. Save it to the last second, so you don't get shockwave. Chuck that on as well. Get the weapon out, just in case. I get an opening. Oh, so itchy. Nice, I hit him, so I got some meter. Oh, okay. More meter. What are you doing, monkey? That again. Hit the butt. Okay, beam for me. That's not a beam. Oh my god, the bouncing. It's so gross. I really should have just lost the 5% affinity, in all honesty. So I didn't bounce anymore. Okay. That's fine. We know to just land foresight off that, because I can't Helmbreaker it. From earlier. I should have just rolled. Yeah, should have just rolled. That's alright. <sighs> I love bouncing so much. Okay. At least I've still got red. Ran away from me on purpose there. He 100% ran away from me on purpose. Just so tilting punches. What? It gave me the evasion buff. Come on. That's so lame. I got the evasion buff, but it didn't proc the, uh, the successful counter to give me the, the meter back. That's fun. Take that off. Can't land anything consistent off that or considerable. Cause there's definitely a difference between consistent and considerable. I'm so glad he didn't beam. I would have been furious that I couldn't punch punish it. <laughs> furious. Spam it to get down. Thank you. It's out of his angry. Okay, I was ready to uh what's it called? Yep, I figured. Give me that level. Can get a wall bang as well. If he stays over here and does a decent attack that I can wall bang off. That's okay, we work off that. Into the wall we go. Land a Helmbreaker, maybe finish him here. It's been a very long hunt, at least it feels like it. Literally haven't been able to land anything. Like, at least anything fun. Okay. Fade, get the level maybe. That's fine. At least I've got enough gauge to counter something. Like that. Okay, we're back to red. Want to get the weapon out. Maybe. Spam to get down. Oh, that would have been last possible second there too. Unfortunate. If only I connected with that counter. Could have uh, Helmbreakered into Helmbreaker. Okay. Just going to take the meter that time. Okay. That's fine. Slap him. A couple times. 
One more time. Just so I can keep gauge. I love that that punch reached his leg. Because it did straight up reach his leg that time. We were right next to him. Okay, that's fine. One, two. Did 10 damage. Love it. No red gauge to punish that. Thank you. Double gong from the cat. Yep. Keep going the cat so I don't get a single opening to actually punish. Thank you. There we go. God. <laughs> that is so much worse than Ryza's fight. With this weapon. I, I need to preface that. With this weapon, it is so much worse. Obviously, if you go for eye slashes, it'd be fine, I think. Because it's still like a counter fight. But it's just going to be so much worse. Or so much less consistent to do. As always, here is the build, of course. I think the main thing I'd change on here, if I had to actually choose something, would probably be Handicraft Protection. Just change it for Mind's Eye. So I stop bouncing off him. With Health Augment, of course, because I don't have other augments. Well, everybody, that was taking on a request to go fight the Furious Rajang with Longsword in Iceborn. I don't think I'm ever going to do that again, because that was just miles worse than it is in Rise. Again, I need to preface, with this weapon, it is so much worse. If you go see someone play Rise Sunbreak, you'll see how much better it is and how much more enjoyable it is. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And as always, I hope to see you on the next one.